<clears throat> took the early shorts that we had suggested perhaps we get to the close of the gap. It was unlikely that we would not close today's gap after you know <clears throat> Friday got away with no gap fill. So likelihood was we would fill it today and we said you know luck of the draw would be if we could get past the overnight low at twelve area and then perhaps come back and test this last spike low here at 11 from Friday and then get into the, the tens and perhaps into the nines. Nine and a half was a potential target missed by one tick. Um, from Friday we had suggested probably position tra traders are going to be thinking of nine and a half as the support zone. So far that is held. And uh, short side usually gets uh, the first part of the day to try to get and close that gap and anything else to find support. And right now support seems to be this previous area 10 to 11 that had been an area of resistance that's now turned into support theoretically. Morning after trend day says you can buy the pullback but doesn't have to make a new high. So far we have taken out the IB high and we're testing um, last week's uh, Friday's high range at 15. So the 15 minute chart, great chart. Absolutely right on the money. And if you're looking at angels and demons, we know that this support, this angel, which is actually it actually represents Friday's middle. Like we said, you know, be careful of overstaying this at the end of the hour. So the megaphone pattern I said might play out higher high earlier, lower low, and then come back into the mid range. That's all I can tell you about trading. You know, I said today may be a little bit softer, just like Friday. Um, options expiration, we may get theta burn, we may not have a lot of volume. So it could be another soft day without a lot of, uh, you know, <clears throat> traders participating. So anybody that played early and got the gap, half gap, and then came across to take out the 12s and test for support, um, trailers got stopped out. If you were looking for anything more than this 10 area and wanted to get down to the sixes where where gap remains and so on. So currently anybody that is playing, we're in the middle range and best trades short are already done based on the gap fill idea. So I've got 16 and a quarter as our theoretical demon right now. Um, we had said Friday and in, in the video on, on Friday that our next target was 16 and a half to 17 and a quarter. We would use that as our resistance. So that resistance worked one time for a nice trade. And all we can do is take pieces of the market as, uh, as the market presents opportunity to us. 